one thing I do want to look at. Um, okay. So, um, our guys played played really well today, or tonight, I guess I should say. Uh, I'm very proud of them. Um, had a chance to win. Wish we'd have got the stop at the end. Um, but uh, we rushed the ball effectively. Um, we were really good with penalties. 50% um, on third down. They were about 75% on third down. That's what I thought kind of got us a little bit. Um, but uh, guys played their butt off. I was proud of them. Just came up a little short. Wish we could have got a stop there at the end. Mike, how's uh, Garrett doing? Um, he's out. For the season? I, I don't know, but he'll be out a while. I mean, I, it's hard for me to predict. But tell us, Coach, about the what a heroic effort out of Ollie Gordon tonight. Yeah, Ollie ran good. Um, yeah, made the good plays, ran good, had 108. Uh, ran hard, ran through some tackles, um, played well. Um, we uh, did a good job rushing the quarterback, opened up a little opportunity, a few more opportunities for Ollie with the ability for the quarterback to run a little bit. I mean, he leaves the game with an injury and then on that fourth down comes in and just basically leaps over everybody on both teams pretty mm -hmm. much to get it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, he's obviously a good player and strong and um, he's beat up a little bit. Uh, you know, he didn't practice quite as much as normal in the last couple of weeks, and but uh, came back in and gave us good effort. Mike, what do you think overall just about Bowman's night and the circumstance around it, having to, to come in when, when Garrett got hurt? And it was rough early on, but he, he led you guys on that go-ahead drive there late. Yeah, and, you know, I thought he played well for the most part. Um, again, I, you know, I'd have to watch and study it, but he came in and did a good job in a tough situation. How much did he practice with, with you guys this week as far as, you know, getting steady reps? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about how much anybody practices. Okay. Yeah. Is it safe to say he's going to be you guys' quarterback moving forward with Frank L out? Yes. Defensively in that last position, was it a matter of playing too soft? Or what, what, what kind of went into them being able to move the ball there late? Well, the quarterback broke out on a 30-yard scramble. <clears throat> and then they hit a guy down there, and we missed three or four tackles, and he scored a touchdown. I mean, I, I couldn't see a lot from across the field, but um, I kind of wish we'd have got him down um, at, that, at that point. But um, the quarterback made a couple plays. Good player. The drive before that, whenever you guys go down the field, at, at what point are you saying, okay, this is this is our, our all or nothing drive? We're going to run down the clock and, and score and try and lead them as, as little bit as possible. Is there a time where you're like, okay, now we we've got to run the clock down? Well, we just played football. I mean, um, uh, we were weren't necessarily trying to run the clock down, but we weren't playing fast. Were you surprised they didn't review uh, the? I guess it would have been a third down run by Bowman. That ended up in you ended up in a fourth and short. They said they reviewed it. Oh, really? I called timeout. Is that the one you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, I called timeout to give them some time to do it, and they said they reviewed it. So I didn't think the spot was very good, but I guess they reviewed it, and it must have been good. Yeah, we converted on it though anyway, but it sure made my job a lot tougher. What did you think of Rodney's day? First time we got to see him and made a couple plays out there. He's um, practiced well. From for two months, and um, so we got a, we got a few guys banged up a little bit. So put him out there because he's shown signs in practice that um, he has the ability to make some plays. So I thought he performed really well for a freshman. Well, Rangel was in there. What did you think about just the the look he gave you guys with the quarterback run game? I thought uh, we were really effective with it. Quarterback run game allows um, Ollie to free up a little more because they now they have to play everybody involved. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought that the plan was good. I thought that uh, he was good rushing the ball. It was just an unfortunate incident. When you have Allen come in, especially for the second half, when you kind of know that, do you just say we're going to stick with the game plan we had for Garrett, or do you kind of tweak it a little bit to, to suit Allen? Yeah, I mean, we have to tweak it some. I mean, two different kind of players. But but it seemed like Allen was still running a lot of the same concepts y'all were running with Garrett, and and he performed pretty well? Um, just base plays. I mean, those are plays that we've had in for a long time. Um, maybe we called them more with him in this game than we did in the pre previous games, maybe.
I would say that that's, that would be accurate. What there were a lot of guys that, that got some time uh, that we hadn't seen a whole lot of. You talked about Rodney already, but there were a couple other guys that were uh, more involved. Was that um, just a, a benefit of, of the bye week, being able to open up the depth chart a little bit? Or? Uh, no, we, we, got, we got some guys that are beat up, not, not able to play, so we had to play quite a few new guys. What were your thoughts on the atmosphere here in Provo and what you saw? Um, they know how to do game day atmosphere. I'll give them credit. They do a great, this is a great addition to our conference. I mean, they uh, very, very good um, game day environment. Last they, their uh, student section or whatever that is down there, they do a great job. Um, do a great job with the light shows. It's pretty impressive. Our guys handled it really well. With Trey Rucker and Dylan Smith, didn't see them today. Uh, are you, are you expecting or hoping to get those guys back next week, or is this a longer absence for those guys? Well, I'm, I'm trying. I, I don't really want to talk about guys that don't play. I try to be as nice as I can with that, but I, out of respect to those guys, you know, and also out of respect for us trying to prepare for a game, um, I'd rather not talk about any injuries at any time. Brendan did not have a catch until that. Uh, go ahead, drive there late, and then he had five catches, uh, including the the touchdown there. What what did you see just kind of from him on that drive? And I mean, it lasted almost nine minutes. What what was working so well offensively for you guys? Um, I thought we did a good job mixing it up. I thought our play calls were good. Um, they played some bracket on Brennan most of the game, so obviously it would squeeze him down a little bit. But I thought our play calls were really good. I thought our concepts were good, and I thought we executed them. What did, what, what did you think of some of the guys that filled in, you know, with Trey and Dylan being out, some guys got more time. What did you think of those guys like Parker? Uh, um, I, I mean, I thought they played with great effort. I thought they really competed. From a fundamental and technical side of it, I'd have to watch the video because, you know, it's a lot going on out there for me to actually see that side of it. But one thing I told the players was that I was very proud of them and the effort. Um, they've been great in practice for the last two weeks. They've had great energy. Their, their um, attitude's been great. They've been very attentive in practice, willing to learn. And that's the result that we got tonight. We played good football, we just came up a little short. So I think they fall in that category. Now, as far as concepts and the, the technical side of where they were supposed to be, when they were supposed to be, I won't know that till tomorrow, probably. Do we feel that this, you know, can carry over some momentum or, I mean, it's a pretty tough way to lose a game. As yeah, like college football hard. is a one-week pass-fail grade, right? Yeah. So we, we prepare, and um, if you win, you get a pass. If you lose, you get a fail grade. There's really no in-between in college football. So um, whether we would have ended up winning this game and celebrating right now or whether we're in the situation we are right now, they have to reprogram themselves Sunday and get ready for the next game. That's just it's just our job. It's just what we do. And I think they understand that. Um, but, you know, it's those guys in there, are, they, they're hurting right now, and, but they should be. When you put that much time and effort into something, that's just the way it is. But uh, uh, they played a, a heck of a game, and we just came up a little short. How would you describe the Big 12 right now? A little bit of cannibalism going on, a lot of parity. How would you describe the competition in the Big 12 right now? Oh, I mean, I've, I've said it for a couple years and said it in the summer and I'll say it again. I think that any team in this league is vulnerable on any day. Uh, I think that um, there's um, guys in this conference that know how to coach football and there's players in this conference that know how to play. And um, based on how the ball bounces and a turnover or two, um, uh, just about anybody can beat anybody in my opinion. Your friend, it, you, you, Kalani Stock is a foe, but also it seems like a friend just with the uh, the interactions that you had in the pregame. Could you speak to the relationship that you have with Kalani Sitake? Well, he and I are, are good friends. I have a lot of respect for him and his family, and um, he and I have good conversations. Uh, we enjoy uh, having a professional relationship. Um, you know, we're able to spend time together in the off season. Um, in the in Hawaii at the Nike deal, and get to know our families and. Um, uh, I have a lot of respect for him and, and BYU football. And so he and I have a good relationship. When you talk about the, the attitude or the energy that you saw over the last two weeks, um, does that kind of stuff give you hope that, that, that you guys can get this right at, at this point? Because 
Well, I think we got it right tonight. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's interesting when I watch them at practice. Um, if you would have come and watched us the last two weeks, you would have thought we were six and zero. And that's what's exciting. So that that tells me that the culture side of it's working. And when you get a, a number of guys beat up, it sometimes it can wear on you a little bit mentally as a team, and they've overcome all that. So what I was sharing with you is the same thing I told them. I said I was very proud of them. I wish I wish I was in here celebrating with you, but we have to look and see where we were came up short to try to, if we get in that situation again, to try to finish the game and win it. But I'm not going to take anything away from BYU and what they accomplished, but I'm also not going to take anything away from our team and what we were able to accomplish. You had two great games with BYU the last two years. This mm -hmm. is shaping up to be a, a great rivalry. Yeah, mind. yeah. The, the teams that we have brought in uh, to our conference has is, is made the Big 12 a, a really, really good conference. And uh, I'm excited for the long-term future of this league with the new teams that we brought in. One Just, more for Coach. How encouraging was it to get the running game going? I mean, it feels like it's been a while since you guys have been able to kind of run the ball as effectively mm -hmm. as you did. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You know, you, and you see the results. Um, you know, you rush the ball a little bit and opens up and kind of spreads the defense out and gives you opportunities to do other things. And so um, our concepts were excellent. Uh, the, the plan that we had was good and it worked and players executed it. Thanks, guys. Good. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Coach. You.